Hello and welcome to our preschool virtual tour. For those of you that don't know me, I'm Ms. Cochran. I've been the center director here since 2018. I am especially excited to talk to you about our preschool program. I'm a little biased because I did used to be a preschool teacher and it is one of my favorite age groups to talk about. To get started, let's take a look at the preschool classroom. As you step inside the preschool classroom, there are a couple of things you notice right away that are different from some of our younger classrooms. Right away, you can see that the circle rug has changed. We now use letters instead of shapes. You can see that there is a whiteboard. You can see that we have a calendar. And that should really tell you a lot about the way that preschool has changed. Preschool looks a lot more like school than some of the other classrooms. Not to discredit any of the learning we do in the younger classrooms, it's just this looks a little more explicit. As we continue to look around the classroom, we see our centers, we see our tables, and we see technology. We do introduce technology use in this age group. Another thing really worth pointing out is the way that restrooms have changed. Now that the children are older and potty trained, there is a, a specific boys restroom and a specific girls restroom. Now that we've seen the classroom, let's take a look at what balanced learning looks like in action in the preschool classroom. Really the biggest change is in the way that curriculum is delivered at this stage. We no longer have wonder time. Instead, we have small group literacy and small group math. Those lessons are explicit literacy and math skills. They're still delivered in fun and engaging ways, but you do go to the table with the teacher in a small group and you do work on those skills explicitly. During that time, you're, you will typically work on pre-literacy skills. Those are going to be things like concepts of print, the idea that text goes top to bottom and left to right, uh, phonics and phonemic awareness, uh, being able to hear rhyming sounds and discriminate beginning and end sounds. During small group literacy, we also practice our letters, recognizing them, being able to write them, as well as plenty of documenting our own findings. Math is handled in a really similar manner. Math is more than counting and recognizing numbers. In the Primrose Preschool Math Program, your child will become a confident mathematician when sorting objects by attributes, when comparing sets of attributes, when recognizing quantities without counting, when identifying, extending, and creating number patterns, all of which are prerequisites to being able to manipulate numbers like addition and subtraction. Here, my friend is practicing those sorting skills while tying the lesson to our monthly learning of what's beneath my feet. He is sorting living and non-living things. Here, my friend is developing complex reasoning skills and developing spatial awareness by creating a pattern. But I think my very favorite thing that we introduce at the preschool level is what we call project time. Project time is STEAM based or science, technology, engineering, art, and math based. Throughout the week, we introduce a science concept and build on it so the children can explore that concept in a bunch of different ways. Here, my friend is exploring what she's learned about day and night with light and creating shadows. In this picture, my friend is applying what he's learned about wind throughout this week to his own artwork to create a picture of a stormy ocean. And here, my friend is applying everything she's learned about making observations to categorize this rock. 
One thing that stays the same is that when the children are not in small groups with their teachers, they do explore what they've been learning about in their centers. And of course, we do take the children outside twice a day, weather permitting, for 30 minutes in the morning and 30 minutes in the afternoon. While the children are outside, we do have thumbs up outdoor time where we play with the kids in ways that encourage specific gross motor skill development. Here, my friend is working on kicking. He thinks he's just playing a game with his teacher, but he's learning important gross motor skills while he does it. I also want to talk to you about our parent communication app, ProCare. ProCare is really neat because it is all in one. It allows you to see information about your child's day, it allows you to see billing information, and it even allows for two-way communication between you and your child's teacher. As a parent, when I open my ProCare app, what I see are the activities that my child has done most recently. Here, it looks like my kitty had a nap and had a photo taken. Uh, and then I can see that the teacher sent a note and that she did an activity with sensory play. I can also see that she had a bottle and drank five ounces uh, earlier this morning as well. Something really cool about ProCare is that it is live and parents do get real live, uh, real time updates. So when you get an update, you get a push notification. You can see the ProCare icon up here in the corner. Uh, and when you look at that icon, it will tell you what happened. Uh, so I see that Zena took a nap. There is also two-way communication between you and the classroom teacher. If you have any questions or if the teacher needs to communicate something with you, you can send a message and the teachers are able to respond. When I receive an invoice, I get an alert at the top of my dashboard up here. It shows what I owe. From there, I can go to my transactions page and take a look at what I'm being charged for, make a payment. Thank you so much for joining me on this brief tour of the preschool classroom. If you like what you see, we encourage you to reach out. We are always happy to answer questions and we would love to set up a time where you can come visit and see the classroom for yourself in more depth. Of course, we would also be remiss if we didn't remind you that space is limited and we are already pre-registering. If this is something you are interested in, we recommend you come and check us out and pre-register as soon as possible. We would love your inquisitive three-year-old to join us and we want you to have that opportunity. Thank you so much and enjoy the rest of your day.